All right, Night of Apollo. What is up, guys? How's it going? Hope you're doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. We are back with the Bannerlord playthrough. This is episode 14, my favorite number. What is your favorite number? And I'm already going to call it, you're, you're going to put 69. I already know. Anyways, uh, we're back, and uh, this is the finale of the downfall of the Western Empire. Some would say that the Western Empire has already fallen as they are down to three settlements, but I think the true fallen state would be losing this, this city here. And uh, even though they'll continue to exist, they'll never be of the same power that they once were. So sit back, relax, get some snacks and drinks, and we're going to watch the rise of the Batanian Kingdom. So, uh, yeah. The first thing we need to do is muster some troops. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do some, like, scouting here. And see how strong this settlement is. And we also have some prisoners that can join us. But we're maxed out, baby. We cannot get any more. Let's see how strong the settlement is. Because remember, guys, we just took a bunch of Lord's Prisoner. Uh, they're at a war score of 33. We're at a war score of 10. We had that glorious battle of a uh, thousand troops or something like that and look at all the lords are here yeah this is going to be a hell of a hell of a defense because literally all of the lords are here defending it they have nowhere else to go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to camp i'm going to do the soft siege as i like to call it just sit right in front of the gates and i'm going to um i'm going to summon everyone here even though it's going to cost a lot, I, I have to because we need every single man to lay siege to the settlement because they have probably a little bit less now. No, they have more. 1,011 troops. Whew. That's a lot. That's a lot of troops. Okay, so it's going to be intense, guys. This is one hell of a siege. Look at our steward going up here. It's a 10% uh, carrying capacity for troops in your party. Minus 20% trade penalty for for trading mounts uh, or plus 20% carrying for pack animals in your party minus 20% penalty for trading pack animal I, I, they, they, whatever I don't care that doesn't really matter to me so we can carry more stuff now so that's interesting not that we ever really had that issue of carrying too much all right we got to level up there whoa why are they attacking me what they came at me like a heat seeking missile and they're like we're gonna attack you i'm like okay okay you can attack us but this is kind of dumb you're outnumbered and i don't know if this guy was gonna come in and help but even if he did it wouldn't be enough let's go finish this guy so i don't think we have to do anything creative here um i'm not gonna do two groups i'm just gonna yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this. And we got our infantry. Uh, let's see, what do they have? Uh, we can kind of see them. They've got a decent amount of cav. But yeah, I'm just going to keep it simple here, guys. Get my archers in loose formation. I'm going to let the archers kind of do the heavy hitting here. And we also have horse archers, which I don't really care about. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Here we go. So yeah, like I said, guys, we're going to keep this simple. We're going to rely on the archer. Are they coming to charge us? Wait, they did initiate the fight. Did they not? They did. So I'm going to move up the infantry here. And the archer's a little bit behind that because it, there's a little bit of a high ground. So they should be able to get a good angle. And then the cav I'm going to use defensively. It looks like they're actually moving up their cav as we speak. We speak as they move. Are they going to commit? Here, I'm going to put my infantry into shield wall. Oh, you're running back? You're running back? All right. I'm going to move these guys here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the cav into the flank. Here, we'll do this. Charge them. Charge their cav. We're going to have a big cav battle. Don't let them harass our archers, dang it. Do not let them do that. 
Woo! There's three gone right there. All right, infantry, do line and then charge. Yes. All right, Cav, go ahead and charge. That was beautiful. We barely lost anyone. Where are you going? Come here, pork chops. No, 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 no. Dang it. If my horse was just a little bit faster, he's going to get away. Unless, oh, get them, get them, get them, get them. Yeah. All right, let's get these archers. Horsemen, Horsemen get the archers. Let's see, almost. You can, you can line it. Attack! There you go. You line it up, you can click on the entire unit. All right, there we go. And then let's get this last guy. Nice. He gets to live another day, only wounded. Sweet. All right, we won the day. We lost three men. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's how you do it. All right, so I'm actually going to let this guy go free. That's because mercenaries, like, they... I don't know. Like, I guess I... They just paid to hire. I have nothing personal against them. And I think if you treat them well, uh, they will remember that and maybe not go to war with you. I don't know that. I don't think that's an actual mechanic, but you know, they do like you more. So that's something. All right, cool. Um, I'm not going to take any of these soldiers. I don't have any space for, Oh, I do have space for prisoners. Um, I do have some troops that Bell, so we can kind of replace them. Um, see what what should we replace them with? Uh, spear militia? No, I guess the archer. I guess these wood runners, and I guess this guy. There we go. And we can take in more prisoners. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada ooh. It's an interesting cavalryman mail shirt. Very cool. Wow, this heavy round shield is actually way better. Well, it's not way better. I, I think my shield's lighter. Yeah, my shield's lighter. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna take the horses, take the food. Except for that, I don't, I don't need the hardwood. And then, boom. Boom. More experience. More experience. And we gain charm when we do that. Because the soldiers are like, oh, that's really charming. Thanks. Oh, you're going to give us all this equipment? That's really charming of you. All right, so we'll continue to chill here. Are they just going to keep throwing themselves at me? Hold right there. It's like women, guys. You know what I mean? I just can't. I'm just... <laughs> okay, let's fight again. All right, so battle time. Uh, once again, it's going to be another simple battle. We don't, re we don't really need to overthink this. Um, I'll just have same positioning. They have to attack us, right? So... I wish I could just tell the archers to be in loose formation all the time at the start of deployment. I don't know if there is a way to do that, but if there is, let me know. Holler at your boy. All right, cool. So let's start. And I'm just going to tell. And there's a way to. There is a way to do like the bird's eye view thing. Oh, geez. I'm just pressing buttons and it's lagging. Did I just make it crash? I think I just made it crash. Oh, come on. Come on. Guys, I'm an idiot. I'm sitting here and I'm like, I think I made it crash. I'm an idiot. Okay, I paused it. <laughs> I paused it. I didn't know you could pause. That's cool. Oh, hold on. How do you... I I'm going to figure this out. Hold on. Okay, whatever. Let's just fight this. Um... Move the infantry forward a little bit. I'll move the archers up as well. But yeah, there is a way to do bird's eye view and fight. I think it is interesting to not do that. It kind of gives you a more realistic view of the battlefield. 
you can still tell units to uh attack certain specific units footman! all right footman shield, shield wall up. shield wall is also useful because it makes them a smaller space which lets the archers do more work Move! i'm gonna get the cav over on the flank and then what i'm gonna do is tell my cab to char to cha charge i don't know why i said it like that i'm gonna charge their archers so if i can zoom in here all right infantry let's get you out of yeah and then charge and then cav just for now charge towards these archers horse archers i'll tell you to advance okay here we go there we go charge archers oh yeah that's juicy yeah i love to watch him charge yeah so this is awesome i love how the west western empire is desperately throwing their men at me there we go that's him and that's it that's battle another awesome victory we didn't lose we didn't nobody even got wounded wow i don't know if it's because they're so desperate to get inside the settlement I, I i don't know why they're just like just going crazy here and again we're gonna get some great leveling up so uh, these are great battles i mean this is just i'm farming I, i'm basically just farming the enemy and it's it's awesome also someone leveled up uh, it was us, actually. Brennan leveled up. Let's see. Plus 10% of the total experience gained as a bonus to infantry after battles. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually pretty good. Or plus two daily experience to infantry in your party. One is more of a slow, gradual burn. And one's like, if you're fighting a lot of battles, it's better. Um... Let's do this one. I think this one overall is better because the minus 5% garrison wages... I think that's pretty good since especially since we're landowners now uh then we've got the wanderer here let's make her scouting a little bit better okay cool so let's see who else is gonna mad mindlessly charge into our army who's it who's it gonna be who's it come on oh we got an 82 coming in there it is there it is 82 it sucks it's a night battle but let's fight it this is fun so we will see how this army fares against us, but uh, they only have 34 archers. They've got three horse archers. Honestly, I think most of the casualties are going to come from their cav and maybe the horse archers. So this army definitely has more art, more cav, but it don't matter. They ain't going to do... Oh, look at that. They're already dropping. Oh, thank you, archers. That was rude. This guy went up there and just hit me. What's his problem? like it's a battle or something oh wait it is a battle all right so their cav is moving in they've got two groups of cav so the thing we should do is focus here cav get up here Cavalry, curl them up. Wow. that came out of nowhere <laughs> wow that sucks i was trying to uh command there all right, Cav, fall back. Wow, that was just like blindsided. I might have to move up here. Let's see. I don't want my Cav to go in too much. I don't want him to. All right, here, we, here they come. Here they come. Look at my epic Sturgeon army. My or infantry. All right, get this guy. All right, their archers are up there. We might, I might move up. Infantry move! Move up the ar uh, the infantry. I'm not sitting back and doing a skirmish battle. Move! Soldier! Move up the army. Ow. Get behind the shield wall. This is kind of a cool advancement. You got the archers behind the shields. Advancing forward, the shields are holding their position. Alright, I'm gonna move up my cav. 
forward! Soldier! Archers move up even more, get that high ground. Infantry move! Infantry move. Soldiers! It's hard to lead on foot. It really is. Oh, I knew it. You bastards. Get out of here. Get out of here. I killed the rider and the horse. Oh, shoot. Uh, footman. Do line and charge. Let's finish this. I'm going in with you, boys. You don't fight alone. Man, PETA is going to be calling me soon. Oh, so many horses I've been killing. All right, everybody charge. Everybody charge. All right, another battle. Wasn't as clean. I don't like the nighttime battle. The AI kind of fought a little bit better there by using his archers and sitting back. But uh, also, my Brennan took a freaking shot out of left field, which uh, kind of knocked him out. We only lost one guy, though. Uh, so not too bad. So it looks like two enemies escaped, so we'll send in the troops to pursue them. Yeah, thankfully we didn't lose anybody going after two troops. Uh, one of those troops being the Lord there. So, oop. So we're going to take him prisoner, naturally. Um, we don't have any space for prisoners for the other troops. It's fine. Lots of leveling up. God, it's so good to see that. Um, so we're getting some great experience from these battles. I really feel like, like I said, I, I feel like I'm farming, you know, I just, it feels okay. I'm not gonna, I'm only taking the food here. Everything else can stay. Lots of experience from the loot. Our charm is skyrocketing. Thanks to that ability. It's almost putting, making this on easy mode. I don't know. Again, I don't know why they constantly charge in at us, but I ain't complaining. Let's see if they do it again. They do. Okay. Um, I guess I might. Let me see. What happens if I auto resolve this? Oh, we only lost one. I was just curious to see if the outcome would be any worse or better. All right. We got another prisoner here. I guess I could have let him go, right? Because he's, he's a... Uh, a mercenary but we lost two let's replace those two with an imperial two imperial recruits i'm going with imperial recruits because um you can shape them the way you want them we seven did get wounded though all right is there anything let's see butter cheese meat grapes grain and this, uh, decreased range accuracy penalty. Eh. I don't really care about that banner. Okay, cool. And let's see if they'll... Just join me, dude. Just join me. Good golly. Okay, so now I think they'll stop attacking. But that was awesome. So, when in doubt, guys, just like... There we go. There's another one. When in doubt, just block the path of a desperate faction and they'll just attack you over and over and over. Look at, is he going to do it? No. They finally, they're like, okay, that's not going to work out. We got one more here. It looks like he's a mercenary. No, he's not a mercenary. Oh my gosh. She's fighting the enemy Lord. All right. looks like we took a castle. All right, let's do this. New, oh, new owner of the castle. We've yet to get a castle and we still yet to get one. I'm just going to abstain from voting. We gained a lot of influence from those battles, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and attack. This is, unless we can summon more lords, which we can't, we're going to take this with 585 troops and I'll show you how we're going to do it. And I'll tell you how you ready. Artillery, lots and lots of artillery. So we're going to build trebuchet and then we're going to replace those trebuchet with, um, with catapults. All right, so we've got three catapults ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and deploy them all. And hopefully they can get some damage done here. And once they break down, I'm going to replace them with a catapult. There we go. Now, remember, we got to bring down the walls here. This is the only way we're going to break through. 
Uh, we've, we declared war on a random faction that broke apart. So just a little update there. So we do have technically another war, but it's such a minor faction. I'm not going to worry about it. Instead, we're going to keep focusing on this. And once they destroy, let's see, there we go. I think once they destroy one wall, I'm going to replace here. Let's actually move to reserve and start building catapults. And I'm trying not to starve out the population because there is negative uh, consequences with that once we take over the settlement. So there we go. There's another catapult. We have to, we probably have to build all catapults. Okay. We almost cracked down one wall, which is really going to speed this process up. There we go. There's one wall. And I'm going to move this to reserve and build another catapult. Come on, guys. Don't let them build. Oh, my gosh. They destroyed one of our catapults. Their numbers are going down. Don't let them destroy. All right. Now get the walls. Get the walls. All right. Get the catapult. What? The Azurai declared war on us. Okay. Things have changed. We're going to attack. We're going to attack here. The balance of power is now in our favor. We just need to destroy. Let's see. The Batanians grant. Okay. Whatever. Azurai declare war. Okay. All right. All right. I think we should go in now. We should go in. Yeah. We're, we'll be all right. Um, we starved them out, unfortunately. We couldn't attack soon enough. Um, we can add some soldiers to the ranks. Let's just add some deadly cab soldiers. We'll get a sword sister. We can get one more. We'll put a sea raider in there. Why not? All right. Let's also upgrade my leadership. Plus 50 renown gain from battles. Plus 200 experience to recruits on recruitment. Wow. Tier 3 plus troops in your party no longer retreat due to low morale. Not really an issue. Not really an issue. Wait, what was that? Hold on. Hold on. What was that last part? 30% faster non-bandit prisoner recruitment. Eh, not worth it. Okay. We rarely, like, have issues with prisoners. All right, let's uh, lead the assault and take this. Woo! Here we go. Another this. What's great about this too is that this is going to be under my control. Like this city, this is a great city to control. Now we got to get in there and do some damage. I could tell the troops to hold their hold their position. I say screw it. Let's go in. Let's get bloodied. We might lose a lot of troops here, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Push, men. Push. There we go. We finally got some kills going. Whoa. Did someone just fall down? Oh, my gosh. All right. I'm at half health already, so I got to be careful. Dude, nothing breaks my heart more than seeing Batanians fighting for the Empire. Dang, dude. I would not go down. Whoa! No, they got me! Dang. Jeez. Come on. Come on. Are we losing this? Um, okay. We need to re re strategize here. Infantry hold. We got to hold the infantry and we got to let the catapults do some work here. Wow. Oh, look, I'm playing as my wife.
Okay, we need to aim a little higher. Where is the catapults? Okay, we're, we're, we might lose this, guys. We just might lose this. No, there's, there's no way. How many have we brought down? They're winning. They are winning, guys. Okay. Follow me. My wife's going to pick up where I couldn't. The, the catapults are not hitting anything and I was kind of I was kind of depending on that all right charge charge get up there Come on, guys. Here we go. We need more green in the kill feed. Come on, catapults. Get some kills, please. Dang it, dude. Oh no. Here we go. Alright, we need uh we need more troops. Well, that was... It, we're trading evenly. That's the problem. We can't do that. Wait, why are my archers going in his melee? I need my archers firing. That's not good. All right, here we go. My archers going into melee for some reason. Dude, they're crushing us! Oh boy. We might have to retreat. This sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna retreat. Oh, come on, retreat. Yes. All right, we gotta, we gotta. Dang it! Call off the attack! <laughs> Damn. So that's not what I uh, hoped for. Um, continue siege preparations. The good thing is that... Look, sieges are like this sometimes. And uh, we've got a lot of prisoners. Oh, do we not lose anybody? We didn't lose anybody from my personal army. That's nice. But we can wait. We can starve them out a little bit longer. How dare they put up a good fight? How dare they? Um, what I should do is try to get more catapults. I don't know. The catapults didn't really seem to do anything. I should build a ram too. Oh, hey, someone can, are they going to join me? Oh, perfect. All right. They're not showing up as reinforced. There we go. All right. Now we can do it. Now we can finish this here. Let me just replace that with a trebuchet better than nothing. All right. Let's, let's take this. Let's win this. I think I bit off more than I could chew in that last situation, but that's okay. We've got reinforcements now. Um, I'm pretty low on health. So what I'm going to do is just probably play back. And just use my bow. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm just going to use my bow and support from afar because I'm not going to be much help. I need to get a better position here. Man, they got a lot of archers over there. Get back. Yeah, we're crushing them now. Look at that kill feed. Hey, you got to give props to the uh, the Empire here. You know what I mean? Like, they held out. And it they knew because this is it. Like, this is their last hope. Their last stand. I guess I'll go ahead and join the close combat. Come on, guys. Push, 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 push. Here comes reinforcements. Get them. It's just a bunch of farmers. Guys, where, where are you going? Where's my army, man? It's over. Join us. Just join us. It'd be kind of crazy if you saw like women and children coming out and fighting. Cause you know, in like a dis desperate situation like this, I mean, this is their last city. So you would think that they would, um, send everything, literally everything they have. Oh. Oh my gosh, dude. Screw you. Screw you. All right, we'll fast forward. You got me right there with the arrow. Son of a gun. Um, hopefully that's, yeah, just wounded. All right, cool. Battle finished. Let's, um, let's be done with this. So they've got 34 troops. I'm too wounded. Just get in and clean them up. Good job. All right. So we uh, took the city. And we're good to go. Uh, I really can't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Testudo. Look at this. Decrease taken range attack 15%. This is worth 8,000. Where can, who can use, who leads the infantry? This guy. This is so much better. 15 compared to five. Yes. Epic. All right. We took a bunch prisoner. The West, the Western empire is done. We took all their settlements. It's over. The war is over. We're going to show mercy and I'm going to, of course, claim this for my own. I'm going to disband. And let's manage the town. I don't have much time to like sit here and baby this town. Ooh, it's a pretty good town. It's a pretty good town. Let's go ahead and throw some money at it. But we're gonna... Yeah, why not? We'll just... Um... Let's just finish what we're currently building and then do festival and games. That city's going to struggle for a little bit, but we got a bigger issue on our hands. So we're at war with this faction now. You see this? We're actually losing the war, but we could swoop in and take that settlement. Look at how much we're growing, guys. Woof. But we are at war. See, uh, no, let's go home and protect her because this could easily be attacked by the, uh, the Azurai. So we want to get over there and deal with that. But the Western Empire, they have to... They've got to surrender, right? Like, or... There we go. There we go. We're at peace. So that's one less war we have to worry about. 
The big fish that we have to worry about next is the Azurai. I think this is the first time. Oh, look. No, they have more settlements over, over here. You see this? Oh, and the Southern Empire took it. That's funny. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to worry about the Azurai. Because they're definitely more scary. And have the ability to take some of my cities. The engineering. Your engineering went up? Good job. I don't really care. Do whatever you want with that. And we should have some space. Yeah, we lost two soldiers. So we should have some space for some prisoners. And, ooh. Get the deadly archer. And we'll get the Sturgeon warrior. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what the Azurai can throw at us. Because remember, they declared war against us. I might just go to this little landmass here, this little land bridge that's on the map, and just hold it and see what they send at me. Now, of course, if they send a giant army, I'm going to be in trouble. Wow, we're losing this war. <laughs> okay, 500. 122 range. 99 cav. Yeah, that's a good army. Compared to my 69 range. God, my army feels tiny. Let's see, where are they going for? So they're going to here to besiege. There's 200 defenders, though. So what I'm thinking about doing is letting them go for it. And then maybe we can swoop in and... Yeah. Or we could just muster an army. Mm, kind of expensive. Let's try to figure this out on our own. I wish we could um, have a bigger army, though. Like 200? That'd be sweet. A 200-man army? I feel like we could beat a 500-man army. Oh! Things just got interesting. Okay. We don't want to lose this castle. So I'm going, I'm going to muster... Um, that. That should be good. They're a little far away, but I think with that force, we should be able to swoop in and and hopefully finish them. But they got to hurry up because, oh, they're already attacking. Shoot. Okay, we might have to get creative here. Oh, come on, guys. Okay, I'm thinking about going in here. That would be crazy, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, right on time. Once these guys join, we're going in. How many defenders? 97? Okay, we got to go in. Let's go. Let's go. Woo, this is not going to be an easy battle. Hold on. Let's, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to, I'm going to take all these guys. To multiply, to make our army bigger. And then we're going in. Yes. Makes it a little bit closer, but let's attack and see if we can win this. Alright, nice big open field. I like that. That's going to let us set up a nice infantry position. Now, the question is, are they going to charge us? If they charge us, then we're sitting pretty. The biggest threat right now is the cav. Uh, it's not a really big hill here, though. Okay, let's let's get up here. Let's yep, yeah, get up here. Archers, get you in loose formation. You're gonna stand up on this hill. Okay. Get away from get away from my army. Okay. Soldiers. Horse archers get up here and support. Of course. Infantry. Infantry, let's get you in a shield wall. Come on, man. Cav, let's move you up. You're going to have a challenging task today. Oh, that's a scary army. Soldier! Get you in the line. Charge. Charge! 
Nice. Charge. This is a very elite army, guys. I don't know if we're going to win this. Very strong elite army. Looks like our infantry is winning, though. I don't know. It's close. No, it doesn't look like they're winning. We got reinforcements, though. The archers are holding the fort. Come on, guys. Hold. Hold! Dang, dude. It's not a massive army, but it's a strong one. They're winning. We're getting crushed. We are getting crushed. Gotta crush their infantry. Oh my gosh, they have so much cav. My horse is almost dead. I'm gonna fall. Mm. I'm not gonna fall back. Footman, form up here. Cav. Get you up here. Hey, we need your help. All right, we're going to fall back. We got to fall back to uh, some friendly troops. Fall back. Come on, guys. We need you. Dang, dude. He's still up. Oh my gosh. They have so No, my horse. Oh. Great. Now I'm a sitting duck. There it is. Damn it. Come on, guys. Oh my gosh. Please tell me we have more reinforcements. All right, cab charge. Ow. Fight on. Dodge. This might be hopeless. This might be hopeless. Just depends. Oh, we got reinforcements. We got reinforcements. This is good because they're just sending up their cav alone. I'm going to send you guys up here. Nice. I have 50 archers now. Infantry, shield wall. Oh. All right. Come on, archers. All right, Cav, Cav, fall back. Fall back, regroup. Now, the bad thing is they're going to have reinforcements, too, after this. The balance of power is even, but it's it's deceiving. Hear me. Footmen. All right. Soldiers. Cav. Leave no one free. Go after their Cav. All 
All right, here we go. Infantry. I'm going to line up my infantry a little bit longer. This is a hard fought battle. Horses fall back. Fall back. Come on, keep it up. There you go. There you go. Ah! Keep up that rate of fire, boys. We love to see it. Come on. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Here they come. Infantry, get ready. Tab, charge. Infantry, line, charge. No, dude. Now I'm just like, it's random archer. No, infantry, go that way. Charge. Infantry. Like, fight their infantry. Engage the enemy. Warriors. Attack now. Footmen. All right, regroup, footmen. God, they have so much calf. Like doing no damage. All right, charge. Ah, oh, damn their calf. Damn their calf. Oh my God, look at them. Look at all these guys. Oh, we got reinforcements though. Go. Group up. But they have reinforcements too. Come on. Oh, this is a bloody battle. Cav, regroup. Come on, keep firing, keep firing. Infantry, come on, you can do this. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Cav, charge again. Actually, Cav? Go, go for their archers. Come on. Give me this spear. It's gonna help. Kill the calf. Any more reinforcements? Could really go for more reinforcements. Oh my god, they still have 103 troops. What are the chances? Come on, archers. Oh, I killed him. All right. Charge. Archers, charge. Damn it.
All right, we got to retreat. We got to retreat. Retreat. Shoot. Can we... Oh. Retreat. Retreat. Okay. Oh, damn it. Okay, this we can retreat with him. Yes, retreat. Retreat. So we can escape. We can escape from this because we initiated the fight. That was a bad battle. This has not been a good episode for Brennan. This has not been a good episode. Yeah, okay. So we got to get out of here as fast as possible. Um, so let's just get the heck out of Dodge here. Come on. No, no, no. Just keep running. Why are we so slow? Okay, we have to, we have to disband. We're going to use the other lords. Come on. Oh, please. No, 11. What can we do? We can level up. <laughs> level up some troops. What's wrong? Oh, we have too many prisoners. How about this? I don't even really care. Just get rid of these prisoners. That speeds us up. There we go. Nice. Okay. Get to our city. Defeated. Shame. Oh, look who showed up. Look who showed up. Oh, if only you guys showed up a little bit faster. Hold on. I might I might stay around for this. No, where are you going? Where are you going? All right. We're going to go to the city. We're going to go to the city and just chill here. Just relax for a little bit. We did our best. Uh, not a good battle. We could have played that one a little bit better. But it was fun. It was really fun. Um, we need more recruits. Wow. Let's see. Coaching. We leveled up. See, plus 3% damage when your troops are sent. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Well. This army is going to siege. I, I am out of time, though. We are out of time for today's episode. A humbling episode for Brennan. I mean, we had success. We took this uh, city, so that's nice. We we now control three cities, uh, so we're going to start making more and more money. We're, in fact, we're making plus 6,000 gold per turn because all, all the negotiation and everything like that, which is awesome. Um, we're winning the... No, we're losing the war against the Azerite and this r little rebel faction, which is really annoying. Um, but yeah... We're going to have to bounce back from this, guys, and push back the Azurai, take back our castle. Uh, but this has been fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave any comments, advice, anything like that. I do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in Cal Radio.